as far as he was concerned was over. Then when the class got over and uh, every child was uh, going, this teacher cut hold of Dr. Abdul Kalam, mm -hmm. hugged him, and Abdul Kalam says, I saw tears in my teacher's eyes. And after that, after that, uh, Abdul Kalam and that teacher were inseparable. This teacher became Dr. Abdul Kalam's best teacher and best guide. Now imagine, if this teacher would not have done that gesture, the country would have lost the brightest of scientists, scientists the, president. the president, and the world would have lost a great, great, great human being. Right. You see, the, this is how just one incident, a teacher can change a life of life of so many. Right, I mean, the teacher had to put a little more extra little effort. Little more yeah. effort, little more heart into the profession, Absolutely. which, which yeah. unfortunately is less. Like, I mean, that may be because of the kind of, you know, return, the less return they are getting or and when they are yes. comparing with other professions, yeah, yeah, subconscious feelings will be coming there. Yeah. Right, and you know, coming back to the present education system, I mean, just now the board examinations have passed. And you know, every year, year by year, we read in the newspaper during the exam uh, results, board exams, and you know, prior and, uh, and after that, that few students do commit suicide only for the fear of their results. I mean, what do you have to say about that? See, there are some percentage in population who have the tendency of suicide, committing suicide, that, that kind of uh, mindset they have. So for them it's, it's kind of uh, the excuse. Now, at the same time you must be also reading in newspapers that uh, the mother refused the daughter to go for a movie or to go to Mela and she commits suicide. Right. So in the same way, uh, the daughter-in-law is asked not to go uh, to the market with, with the friend and daughter-in-law commits suicide. So there are people who, who are not mentally strong enough. And there again, education has not played its role in their life. They, have been, they are weak people. So just because they have not done paper well, but the percentage as far as I am, I feel they are very, very less. And even now government wants to make the education so lenient and so uh, so that you know, nobody fails. But that is also not going to help. Whether you give marks or you give grades, those who feel depressed after not doing their best in the papers, right. they will continue doing it. I but, mean, yeah, but uh, say for example, if they were studying the you know, the board exams, I mean, they might not have committed suicide. So, again, you know, this uh, examination system, you know, isn't that creating this fear? See, uh, in IITs, if you see the IIT institutes, mm -hmm. which are ultimately admitting the best of talent of the country right. after the most competitive exam, the suicide rate in IIT institutes is quite high. Now those students who are so bright, who are so competitive, who ultimately have reached to these premier institutes after, I will say after defeating so many right. millions and millions, and they come in so sad. So yeah, it's all about such a tendency of individuals. Yes, why should they feel of it? You know, from IIT, if you will not be at the, uh, at the bracket of uh, say crores as package, you at least will get one of the best job the country offers. So it's not like they, they are they are intelligent scholars, but then also they commit suicide. Amongst them also they commit suicide. So it is, I feel, the tendency of Indeed. getting too much of de depression comes to them and all those kind of tendencies. Uh, I blame to their surroundings, to their uh, home, atmosphere, or uh, friends. friends uh, so. right. Okay, now tell us something about the Rajkumar College, uh, kind of education and how it is provided here. See, we are one of the very old uh, residential school. In fact, we are one of the oldest residential school, started in 1870. 
So basically this school was for the education of the princes of uh, this western area. So Britishers in those days opened five colleges like this. In western India it was Rajkumar College Rajkot which is the oldest. Then there was Mayor College Ajmer, Delhi College in Lahore, Rajkumar College Raipur and there is one assistant college in Lahore. Now the aim was to educate princes of the respective areas. But later from 18, 1932 it became a public school where everybody was admitted. We try to, we, we are not basically studies oriented school. Right. For us studies are 50% and other activities which ultimately build character, which ultimately gives uh, confidence to, to students, those activities we give emphasis. So our schedule is very rigid right from morning 6 o'clock till 9, 9 o'clock. The students are busy doing something uh, constructive. And uh, at the same time they learn how to compete but they, they find pleasure and uh, pleasure of uh, losing also because our motto is not just to teach them that win, win, win. Basically, how you react when you lose. Unfortunately, in today's society, we are not ready to lose. The parents want every child to be the topper. Topper is only one. So this is how, but our students, that way, are very, very happy and we are very proud. And we don't see our success or failure just by the result of board exam. I am here for the last 31 years. I consider the boy how he is doing after 10 years of schooling, when he is in the 30s and married and taking care of the parents as well as the business. So I consider those who are doing very, very well, they are really uh, educated and uh, they are really bad students. Uh, and, uh, most of the students, our students are all over the world. We have a very strong alumni as far as uh, the students are concerned. And all those students have terrific bond bonding with our school. When they come after 30 years, 40 years, even 50 years, uh -huh. you know, 60 years, I would say, uh -huh. and they just, they are in tears. So the bonding of Rajkumar College with their students is very, very strong. Would you like to share any special message with these students who may be studying in you know, primary, higher secondary or any other stream of their education? Please. My message as a teacher would be just try your best and never worry about, about the result or anything else. A sincere effort always pays and there is no shortcut to success. Uh, it was a pleasure to be with you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.